I often feel disconnected. I want to feel more authentic in my life. How can I do that? Okay, very interesting. Um, that's the kind of question you ask when you are disconnected. How can you be more authentic? And, I, and yet there's a part of you that you can notice in the asking of that question has to be evident there because you said, I, I, I feel disconnected. I want to be more authentic. So you have to have some kind of an idea that there's a more uh, authentic self, that there's something that's more true to you than the way that you're being. And, and I would say this was a great topic to be able to bring up tonight, this um, born to be wild. Because what it requires to be the most authentic person you could be in, in this lifetime is radical honesty. Now, by radical honesty, in A Course in Miracles, there's a way of, of um, defining this. It's not saying that it's radical honesty, but it is. It's what you think and what you do and what you say are all the same thing. Now, just, just feel that for a moment in your own life. How many times what you're thinking and what you're saying are they're worlds apart, disconnected, and they, it doesn't feel authentic because you're thinking something, you're saying something, and you're doing something else. You know, how many times are you doing that in the name of love where maybe you're exhausted and somebody asks you to, to drive them to the store and back and you're smiling and saying sure the same time you're thinking oh my god you know this is going to break this is the straw that's going to break the camel's back and 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 you're not you're completely disconnected and then you get in the car with the person and they're telling you a story that's really important about something that's going on in their life and you're miles away your back being your your head's on the pillow already because you're so tired and you can feel that that's not present, but it's not, again, to make you feel guilty or to judge yourself right now. That's the ultimate disconnect. It's to notice that life could be so easy if you make yourself the priority. Not, and that's not selfish. That's you make your own peace the priority so that what you think and what you say and what you do are all one, that shows that you respect yourself so that if you say yes to someone else, you really mean it, that you're, you're not overburdened with other things. Then you can show up 100%. They get 100% of you. And that's a gift. But when you're thinking, oh my God, this is such an inconvenience and you're in the car with somebody that way, they're actually getting an assault. And that's not the kindest thing to do for someone. Also, you have to know that what starts to happen when you start to think and then do and then speak and act the same way, all congruent, then life begins to show how supportive it is of you. When you really feel tired and, and it's not time to be able to do that and you're not moaning or complaining or being a victim of any kind. You're just stating fact and you're honoring yourself in what you are thinking and believing and saying and doing. You just have that as a priority. What you'll notice is that then things start to happen that the person says, oh, you know, I'm really happy you, you, you didn't drive me because I just found out that thing I wanted to get was, is going to be on sale next week. Or they'll say something like, you know, it was so great that I wound up, I thought I was going to walk because you couldn't take me. And then I went outside and my neighbor who I haven't spoken to in months was getting in their car and they, and we had a great chat on the way. You'll start to notice, and this takes a little bit of trust at first and, and a little bit of uh, faith, but I don't really believe in faith as much as I believe in experience as a powerful spiritual tool. I believe when you get out of your own way and you do things authentically, then you're going to feel authentic. And a true authenticity means what you think, what you do, and what you say are all aligned. 
then you watch how the world supports you in that. And there's no need to be a victim and there's no need to be the person that's that feels persecuted or feels separate from situations or from other people. If you love yourself, that true voice of your own best interest is going to tell you what to do, what to say, where to go and with whom. And you're going to feel yourself so supported in that, that you'll know that it's the best thing you could possibly do for other people that you love as well. So true radical honesty is get into your own skin with love, love yourself. And as you love yourself, you'll see that you can be more present and available and loving to other people genuinely, then your relationships are going to thrive. And you're going to find that you have a lot more time for the things that are valuable and a lot less time for things that really don't matter. Even if your mind tells you they matter, that separate mind that chatters all the time telling you do this, do that, to other people's opinions or, or making them feel good in, in spite of the fact that it's making you feel not so great. Never good to sacrifice or suffer, never necessary to sacrifice or suffer for anyone else. If you're aligned with the truth of who you are, that voice of your own best interest is always going to tell you what to do and how to be with who and when. Okay.